Also sponsored by Amsterdam Billiards, Predator Cues. She turned pro in 2003. She has a ranking of number five. She shoots left-handed with the pistol, right-handed with the cue. Her name, Jennifer Beretta. Right. I know you can do better than that. There, thank you. From Charlotte, North Carolina. Turned pro in 95, born in England. She is currently ranked six. So we got number five versus number six, jockey in for a position here. The Duchess of Doom, Allison Fisher. All right, go Allison. Table seven. From Georgia. She's a little gal, but she can shoot. She is the sweet killer. But will she kill this opponent? Her name is Mary Reagan. Who recognizes her opponent? It's been a while. We're glad to have her back. She owns the Jersey Shore APA. She has so many finishes that I can't even begin to try and name them all because we burned too much clock. She turned pro in 1990. She's from New Jersey. She is not Hopkins. <laughs> Table six is waiting for a match. Table five. She is currently ranked 18th. She is sponsored by Cushion. Billiards and Lounge. She's from Columbus, Ohio. The Terror, Taruko Kukaleli. All right, go Taruko. And her opponent. Sponsored by Jess Hughes of the Team Gear. She is an eight-time world champion, a three-time U.S. Open champion, a three-time national champion, a five-time player of the year, BC Hall of Fame, and WPA Hall of Fame, Queen of the Hill, Lori John Hassan. Oh, Lori John. A lot of great matches great going match on right, on right now. About to happen. From Rockville, Maryland. Of course, the highest ranking was one. We know we've seen on ESPN so many times we can't count. She turned pro in 98. She's sponsored by the Charlotte Metro APA. She's got 26 WPA titles, looking for number 27 this weekend. She's a three time tournament champions winner, four time PCA champion, 100 plus total tournament titles. She's currently ranked one. Karen Carr! Her opponent has steadily climbed up the charts all the way to number four. She hails from Colorado, turned pro in 2000. She's sponsored by RTB Solutions. She plays with Jacoby Q and sponsored by Jacoby Custom Q. Also felt billiards. You know her as the Viper. Her real name is Melissa Lil. All right, go Melissa. Another winner's side match. You saw her defeat Vivian on the hill. It was a great match. She's from Ontario. She's rated number eight. She's a 13-time Canada champion. She looks like the bombshell. We pushed her hair cut, her hair good tonight, but you know what? It works. Brittany Bryant. All right, go Brittany. And her quiet opponent, very, very quiet. She resides in New York. She's from Beijing, China. Her sponsors include Adam of Japan and Navigator Tips. Jai Lee. All right, go Jai Lee. She is 
from Millerica, Georgia. She's currently ranked 10th. She had the highest rating of three. Her handle is the sledgehammer. But can she hammer number one? I don't know. Helena Thornfeld. All right, go Helena. The number one rated player in the WPBA. She turned pro in 98. She's the 2017 Masters Champion of the Sword Eagle. She was born around the Trondheim, Norway. She thinks she's a rock star, and she is. You can't get any higher than number one. Lena Schurzbeck. All right, Lena. Table two is awaiting the finish to come in. Monica is waiting on table six. Those will be announced. Completion of table two, which is now six to five. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Ray Hansen, with Pool Action TV. And we're here live at Borderline Billiards. You're watching live coverage of the signature tour stop of the WPBA, the Blue Emu Southern Open, here at Janet Atwell's pool room and a fantastic venue and a great time we're all having. This is going to be a fantastic match here. The Duchess of Doom, winner of the Ho-Chunk Classic last month up in Wisconsin Dells. And she'll be taking on 9mm Jennifer Beretta out of New York City. Both fantastic players. Great cue ball control from both these players. Great shot makers. It's going to be a great match. It's a race to seven. Alternate the breaks. Players are racking their own using the wooden triangle racks from Brunswick. And they're racking the two ball in the back of the rack. The nine does not count in the bottom two pockets. Three foul rule is in effect. Jump cues are allowed. Jennifer Beretta has won the lag. She'll be leading us off. Two and the four ball down on the break. And Jennifer Bretta has a clear shot at the one ball. And the six is sitting a little funny. And that's going to be the test for this match, getting on the six ball. I said for this match, for this, for this game, Jennifer came all the way across the table and she's got to get back over for the six ball now and it's in a really tight spot here looks like she's going to go up table and maybe play a cross bank on the six ball
right, Jennifer's got herself in a tough spot here. She can see the edge of this. She can cross bank this six ball. Great shot, which has ended up safe in a really tough spot. Here, Allison Fisher, we're trying to figure out what to do here. We're probably going to see Allison spin off the right side of this six ball and come up two rails behind the seven ball. All right, stepped away for a quick second. Allison Fisher um, looks like she's going to finish off this right. This eight ball is really tough, though, sitting just below the side pocket. It's a very sh uh, steep cut into the side, and she'll have to travel three or four rails with the cue ball. Three rails it is, and she's nicely uh, on this nine ball. Fisher strikes first. One zero, and it's Allison's break as well.
Put me over on table number two. Two extensions each.
in table six. Don't you gotta give it up to my homie here from Wisconsin, Bonnie Arnold. From New York, New York, Andrew Marina. Soft spoken. Shoot to the men's queue. Turn pro 2010. She's making another run at it. Doing very well. She is. Jennifer Bredham looking good here to close out rack three and get on the board.
Okay, table six. The incumbent and at the table. He's a multi, multiple WPBA champion. The sponsor is Coin Op Solution. She's currently ran number three from Villa Rica, Georgia. The assassin, Monica Webb. And her opponent making her way from table two to table six. You just watched her Hill Hill match. She's from Coleman, Alabama. She is Julie Ice Queen Cole. Ice Queen Cone. <laughs> Julie Cone. That's funny. All right, uh, Allison Fisher has a shot at the one ball. It's a tough one to start off with, shooting off the rail like this. She doesn't have to do a lot with the cue ball, just make the ball. She's going to have natural position here. And she got a hold of it. Wow, it, it took off. And uh, she's, she's okay. She, she tapped that two ball just enough. Allison Fisher at the table. Now she's really close to the two ball here. She got, she got a hold of the one ball moments ago and uh, rolled a right up on top of this two ball, bumping it to where it was still makeable. And she made a great shot there. Now she's got another problem, the, the three. Doesn't appear to pass the seven. She may have to play a combination here. We've got a special guest joining us uh, right now uh, up from Alabama, lifelong Alabama resident right here, and a great player, uh, one of my favorite one-pocket players. He doesn't know it until just now when I said it, but uh, Justin Cohn in the booth here with us. Welcome, Justin. Thanks for having me, Ray. Looks like we got a good one going. Yes, we do. Well, I think she's going to have to play a combination here. I don't think that three will pass. Looks like she's going to go for the safety. Come behind the nine down there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, she did. You're right. Wow, nice shot. She definitely don't want to give up control of the table to Jennifer, good as she's been playing. That's right. Both these ladies have, uh, have been making shots like crazy, and uh, their cue ball control has been excellent as well. Well, all, you know, having all that is all good, but you have to also make good decisions. And they're definitely good at that, yeah. for sure. Looks like she's going to try to kick one rail. Now, it's, you know, it's been a while, Justin, since I've, uh, I've seen you out in a one-pocket match. Might even have been Jackson, Mississippi or something, uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm just now trying to get back into it a little yeah. bit and go but, come uh, back and play a little bit. Well, uh, they used to have a nickname for you. I'm not sure. I can't uh, remember. What Roadman. It, Roadman, that's it. Roadman. Yeah. You must, have, you must have logged a few miles to get that name. Yeah, I moved around a lot when I was younger, but slowed down a lot as I got older. Yeah, it, it happens. Well, I did the opposite. I, I, I started moving around more as I got older. <laughs> Here comes Allison. She's got ball in hand here. She's going to try to capitalize on this. Yeah, and that great safety is, is what won her this ball in hand. Excellent safety, actually. Stayed on the right side of the balls. 
So important in nine ball to you know to make sure you you know you're you're staying on the correct side of the ball. Definitely keeps it easier on you. Looks like she'll try to draw to the side rail here and bounce off of it. Give herself an angle to get back down on the seven. She may even put a little left spin on this cue ball to take the cue ball down towards the six a little bit more. Well, she didn't quite get off the rail enough, but I think she's still fine. She's got to make sure she doesn't hit the eight ball coming up. Do you like going between the eight and nine here or trying to come back this side of the eight? Being that close to the rail, I, I might come between the between there probably so I can keep my cue level probably. You know, yeah. It looks like that's what she's going to try to do. And she can do that by just putting a, just a center ball and a touch of top on that. Just a touch. Might not even have to put the touch. The center ball might do it. Looks like she's really good here. Now just right back to the middle of the table for the eight. She'll probably spin around three rails so she'll be coming right into the eight here. Mm -hmm. to draw the ball two rails. Come up with a little little more angle than she would have liked here. She'll probably choose to either follow and run into the nine or draw across. She'll probably try to run into the nine here because it's a pretty tough shot. Just be real careful here. She only hit this nine just right. She, could, she couldn't get shape here if she hits it wrong. It almost seems like, too, she could uh, go to the top rail and, and spin around the nine. And she hit it really good, really good there. All right, Allison Fisher set to go to three. We're racing the seven. And if any of you are just joining us, I'm your host, Ray Hansen with Pool Action TV. We're here with uh, the roadman, Justin Cohn, here in the booth with us. That's a really nice pool room here in Borderline Beards. It sure is. Now, you, your, um, uh, your wife, Julie, just uh, won her match uh, moments ago. And did she have to play again right away? She's right back up now. Looks like she's playing uh, Monica Webb. Oh, wow. And uh, she appears to be leading that match 1-0 to zero right now. That's what it looks like. She just started back playing about a month ago. She's, she loves the game. All right, Allison Fisher to 3-3-1 three, three, lead over Jennifer Beretta. All right, this is pretty good to hear. Like, notice how she's putting her glasses on when she racks because she definitely wants to make sure she gets a good rack. It's very important when you're playing this level of pool. I haven't really seen that but before, but... I've actually done that myself. Uh, I, just, I just can't see too good up close anymore. My eyes are just the opposite there. Is that the, right? The distance. Wow. Now also, um, I know there are some players that would think uh, that she's making sure that the gaps are in the right spots too, so the <laughs> wing balls go. Well, um, uh, the most people, that's a common misconception. If, if balls are frozen correctly, the, the wing ball is supposed to go. It is supposed to go in a nine ball rack. All right, here we go. Let's watch the four and five ball are the wing balls here, and then the one ball. Many times they'll go into the side pocket as well. There's the one inside. Missed, missed both the wing balls. Got a very good shot here to get to get to three to two. Looks like she slide over a little for the three. It appears the three uh, does pass uh, the nine. Let's take a look from the side, and there it is. Yeah, see. It sure does. So 
So really, uh, looks like uh, she's going to have to be doing a little traveling on this on this rack. The three to the four down here, and then the five back up there. And after, at that point, it, it's, uh, it's it's wide open spaces. She's going to try to she's going to try to slide over and make sure she gets where she she has the proper angle to get back to the four. She, she don't want to get. She, she got a little more of a cut angle than she could have, would have wanted, but. Just should work, though. She might have a possible carry them into the nine here. It's hard to see the angle. It, yeah. No, I don't, don't look like she does. She might play safe here. Putting the cue ball under the four. I think she's going. She did go. And she hit it very good. Got perfect on the four ball here. Yeah, she did. Sweet side. There's a lot of balls in her way here, the seven and six. She might choose to come to the spin two rails and come to the middle diamond. That's what looks like what she's looking at now. And coming behind the five and hitting the eight, possibly. Yeah, it's a very small lane there uh, to go above the side pocket. It seems treacherous. If the seven wasn't there, this would be a much easier to get yes, on this five ball. Yes. Anybody that hasn't ever been to one of these tournaments, uh, you should definitely go. It's a uh, it's a whole different atmosphere than open, the men's or open tournaments, right? It, it, it is. It, these, these girls, they, they're really great players. They really are. They, and, and they're very professional. I, you know, I like the way that they, they, uh, they all handle themselves very professionally. They interact with the fans a lot. They do. They, they, do. they, they just have a good time. It's like she's slightly hooked on this. I don't think she can hit it. I think you're right, Justin. I look at here. She's looking to go two rails here. And what she's going to want to do here is when she spins two rails, she wants to hit the side where the five comes up table and the cue ball stays down there, which is easier said than done, but. Right. She's going to need a whole lot of spin to get around this. And that's, that's the reason she missed the ball, because she was really trying to hit that proper side of it. Mm -hmm. Came just a hair shy, and Allison Fisher now a chance to close out rack five here. I think she's just going to try to draw back down, straight down here to, to the six. Very good, and she'll just come right back to the middle of the table. Probably one rail, I would say. Really takes her time to make sure that uh, everything's right before she does anything. Yeah, that's right, and, and, and she knows exactly where she wants to go before she pulls the trigger on the six ball. She's looking at trying to stay below the seven. Checking all of her options, and that's important. I mean, there's always more than one option. And they give her the perfect angle to go down table. And she can go either way that, uh, here that she likes. I think she's going to go forward. Yes, it, it, I believe she will. A lot of players would have a tendency to go to the short side here because of the nine ball. She, she don't want to put too much speed on this seven because the side pockets are a lot tighter. And these are very tight pockets these, these women are playing on here. Oh, they hit it well. Just narrowly 
crossing the line on the nine ball. I don't see any problems here. I mean, she's a little straighter than she would like, but she should, she should still get out here and take a 4-1 lead. And notice how she's just checking and she gets back up. She's definitely not going to change her mind while she's down there. She may just stop and shoot in the side. Yeah, that's what she was looking at. So she must be she must be pretty straight on this. It's hard to tell from here. There's a little bit better angle. But, uh, I'm going to try to follow out two rails, looks like. Hit it very good. All right, Allison Fisher moves to four. Allison's break. She's in the driver's seat here. Next match, uh, next table over. Mary Rakin and Don Hopkins are uh, in progress as well. Three to one currently with Mary Rakin with the lead. Uh, your, your wife, Julie Cohn, is leading 2-0 over Monica Webb right now. Looks like Monica's got an open table there. Should be 2 1. She, she's got a nice open table there. All right, here Allison sets to break. Rack number six. I'd like to welcome everyone out online that's uh, following the match. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for sh your support of the WPBA. Okay, she, she, did, she didn't hit the one quite as full as she would like, but she still got, got a ball on the break. Yeah, she, we're going to see a push out being on top of this two ball like this. She could, she could possibly, looks like, maybe hit this ball with a little low left-hand English really thin hit and get the cue ball to skim off the side of the six and go behind the nine. Oh, that would be ideal. It, it looks like she has that angle. Let's take a look from the side view. Well, no, maybe not. Does maybe look little, not. Look a little tougher from here. Yes, it does. It's definitely what she's wanting to do, but she, oh, it looks like she's gonna mass it over there. It's just very nice here. Hard to execute. Oh, she, yeah, she came up a little she shy. Kind of just didn't hit it like she wanted, but she had the right idea. She had the cue ball heading that way. Now, one thing um, I, I noticed that Jennifer didn't get up and look at that two ball to see if it was frozen. No, she didn't. And um, you know, it's hindsight now. But anytime, anytime your opponent has a, has a ball that's uh, really close to the rail, I thought it's a good idea to walk up there and take a peek at it. It looks like uh, Jennifer's probably going to play real thin hit on the two and try to come behind the nine and leave the two on the rail. Or she could go down table with the cue ball and try to place the deuce behind, behind there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what she tries here. Yeah, both good options. So she chose to try to come behind the three and the nine. She did not get there. 
think she was she was concentrating on making sure that cue ball was froze on that end rail, I think. She, right. Well, you, obviously you want to get separation as much as possible, but the harder you hit that, that object ball, the tougher it is to control exactly, a whitey. Exactly, exactly. Hitting the balls too hard is, is definitely something you don't want to do. And I think Allison can pocket this two ball, but I don't know that she's going to choose to because of the position of the three. Here we go. She's doing a lot of adjusting while she's down here. That's unusual. You usually don't see her do that. She was worried about that side. That she hit that ball really good, and that another uh, example of putting the cue ball close to the rail, it, it definitely is a good thing to do. It's a great shot. Now, the guys better hope Allison doesn't take up one pocket. Right. Uh, she, she, I believe she would be okay, don't I, you? Right? I do. <laughs> I do. I'd like to see her play it. Now, I hear uh, it looks like maybe Jennifer could hit the left side of the deuce, play the deuce over behind the six, and get the cue ball safe again, I think. And that's what she chose to do. And there may be a gap there. There may be a gap there. And if Allison can pocket this deuce, she uh, has a good angle to get on the three from there if she can pocket it. And if the three doesn't go, uh, maybe off the four or the three four combo, the three nine might be available. Looks like she's played shape for the three nine combo here. She has the four ball here for sideboards on this shot. So as long as she doesn't hit the four full, she should make this ball. And she has a built in safety here can play the cue ball with, with a little bit of bottom English and keep the cue ball behind the six and the eight. That way, if she does miss, she has a safety. what she tried to do, but mm, may have trickled out. I think she was worried a little bit too much about the cue ball. She was trying to play it where she could keep the cue ball safe, even if she missed, and it kind of threw her off a little bit there. Well, Jennifer has op has an opportunity here to get back in this set. Yes, she does. If she can get this get this game, it's her break. It's right back in it. Right back in it. Her angle, her angle here with the nine is got her in a tough position here. With, with the cue ball being froze, she she can't really put put nothing but top on it. She's worried about the nine. Yes, and that that's what caused her to hit the four full. She she didn't want that cue ball to go over there behind the nine there. Now Allison's back at the table here. Uh, I don't see any problems from here. Well, uh, she does have to travel from the five uh, to the six ball. It looks like she's going to have to get pretty pretty tight on that top rail for that six. She has the angle here to where I believe she can cut the three in and, and bump the nine out of the way and make the rack a lot easier here. She can hit this three and move the nine. See if she plays it that way or if she leaves the nine where it's at.
Oh, that is the reason I, I thought she would have played into the nine there. That, that may have been the break Jennifer needed there. This is going to be a very difficult shot to play safe if she can't make it. And she chose to try to play a safety and she done it very well. That's pretty good. And the six and eight is uh, blocking the, the four. If the six and eight wasn't there, she could stop the cue ball behind the nine, but the six and eight's gonna block her from doing that. So she's gonna try, it looks like she's wanting to just try that anyway, hoping that maybe the four caroms off the six and eight and still gets out of there. She may, she may can beat it. Well, she made the and six. And she did, yes. She, Brutal. Yes, but maybe she can still hit it. I think she can. She'll probably try to bank the four down toward the end rail and bring the cue ball back to exact position where it's at right now. It looks like that's what she's probably going to try to do here, leaving distance. She's got a very good angle for it. She got the four to the end rail and used the five instead of trying to go back behind the nine. I like that. I think I might like that better because there's no way to scratch that way. That was a great shot. The safety game is a good way to settle yourself down when things aren't going that well. That's right. Updates from uh, some of the uh, neighboring matches: Mary Raken and uh, Don Hopkins. Mary is up three to one currently over Don, and on the next table, uh, Julie Cohn leading Monica Webb four zero. You know, the safety uh, here would be a lot easier if that eight wasn't sitting right there. Like she could she could spin spin off the right side of the four ball coming two rails down underneath the five seven nine kind of she's got several blockers there that she could end up behind but it's kind of risky she could also end up uh, leaving an open shot causing trouble. The four I did set right up on top of the rail. This is going to be really difficult. This is makeable, but it's tough. And and then the cue ball could uh, could scratch also. I agree.
Well, Julie Cohn, 5-0 now over Monica Webb. She's rolling. She, she, she's caught a gear. said it a few times over the tournament here but yeah they do come off kind of funny when you get close to those points but I like Allison to get to the center of the table here oh wow she may even be hooked Justin Yeah, she's got a nice little clean up here, and, and again, it'll be her break. It's been a tough rack here. That's a lot of moving parts on this shot. Don't like to kick off the side rail because of the seven. The side pocket is uh, definitely in her way. She needs to hit right where the side pocket's at. Mm -hmm. So she may choose to kick two rails here. Or one. But it's a very difficult shot here. Uh, I don't think they're... I don't know if they have the shot clock because these two players play so fast on this match. I don't, I don't think they have the shot clock going yet. <laughs> Looks like she's going with the, the one rail option here. I don't really like this, but. Yeah, I think she's got. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of options, wow, and she has hit this ball as good as she could have. I mean, yeah. she's left Jennifer a good shot here. Uh, she's gonna have to come two rails to get back to the seven, though. I think it's pretty thin cut, but right up and down the table. She'll be okay. She's just gonna try to bring the cue ball right straight through the middle of the table here, and she should be good. To just try to go one rail. Ooh. Brutal. Well, Allison Fisher with her uh, London Bridge on the table. I don't know if you're familiar with those, Justin, but they're, they're, it's a great bridge for one pocket because it allows you to shoot straight down the rail with the, with the bridge. It'll, you can set it over the edge of the rail and shoot straight I've, down the rail. I've never seen that. That, yeah. that, that, that was come in handy there. Yeah. Very nice. So it's created by Jeff Conway out of uh, Long Island, New York. She's got a little straighter than she would have liked here, but she's still fine. She will follow her cue ball two rails probably and come back on the eight. She'll like a little more angle than that, but shouldn't be a problem for Allison. She chose. She did have enough angle to stun the ball across, which is the better option there if, if it's available. It was nicely done, too. Yeah. 
And we see a lot of player when a player uh, will power up a shot like that, uh, it will affect their accuracy uh, yes. considerably. These girls have wonderful fundamentals. They're, I would say they're, they have better fundamentals than most of the men players that I've, I've watched. Nicely done, Allison Fisher moves to five. This is going to be uh, super hard to come back from with we'll alternate the break, but uh, if anybody can do it, nine millimeter can do it. It's possible, certainly possible. Julie Coe moves to six zero lead over Monica Webb right now, and uh, she's breaking as well. No, Monica's breaking. My, my bad. And um, Mary, uh, Mary and Dawn are tied up now at three three. It's Mary Rakin and. Mary Dawn made Hopkins. an excellent jump shot there. And she came out good too. So she's got Dawn behind the stack there in the center of the table. Dawn's played very well at this event. Okay, Jennifer getting set to break here. She really needs a good break going here. Pocket of the one on the side. And she looks like she's going to have to push out here. And this is not an easy spot to push out to here because Allison is definitely going to be looking to put you in a trap after this. She may can see the two. It's hard to see from our angle, but I think she's hooked. Looks like she can see the entire ball. Oh, uh, she, if she can cut this two down into the four, she should have a, a nice open table here, which she desperately needs. Sometimes you just have to come with a shot. She overcut it a little bit there, and uh, Allison's back at the table. Everything's out in the open. Just has to make the balls here. I guess you could say this is the key shot, the very first one. Two to the three ball. Yes, if she, if she has the proper angle here, which she doesn't, so she's trying to look at the side pocket shot here to create an angle. Looks like she'll follow right behind the seven and come down below the six and try to come off the end rail for shapes on the three. I'm in two rails. So she could hit the two dudes with a nice pocket speed. And she's come up a little short, but it's no problem. It's still a great shot. Yes. She has a couple options here. She can she can go for this three ball. I think she can still cut it backwards if she chooses to, but she has some safety options here, and it wouldn't surprise me to see her go to the safety game here being ahead five to one. Yeah, and plus uh, she does have to kind of let the cue ball go a little bit, pocketing this three ball. Yes. And she, she's looking at it, though. I like the safety option of banking the ball, two rails behind the nine, drawing my cue ball off the end rail behind the six here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I agree. I think that's what she's looking at. It looks that way. Need a little right spin to kind of get it to that six. Yes, very good, very good shot here. She was really keeping the pressure on uh, Jennifer. She has cut off uh, a lot of angles here. It looks like she's gonna, she's looking at the one rail kick, but she's probably gonna need to go two rails here. She'll try to kick two rails probably here with some right hand spin. Try to come in from behind the three ball. 
trying to create some separation. Hit it very good there, very good. Nice thin hit on it. it looks like she's got Allison. Allison may can get through there, but I don't know. It's, it's a very tight gap there. Jennifer was sweating that corner pocket yes, just a little she bit was. there. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, it, it, she can she can hit the edge of this three, I think. Yeah, and maybe a little bit more. I think she can actually cut this into going behind the eight ball with the three. Yes, and she, she just played a nice little shot there. And that just goes to show you that the safeties doesn't always have to be this locked up, you know. You just mm -hmm. don't want to give your opponent something easy to start off with. You don't really make them have to earn it. Allison does a great job of that. Again, a jump shot, we, we've seen these many times fly off the table because the landing spot is so small. Got to get it down and stop the hopping before the three ball contact. Jennifer's pretty good at these jump shots, though. And she made a good hit and got a safety here. Pays to hit the ball. Sure does. Uh, looks like she's left Alice in the edge of the ball again. And uh, what she'll try to do here probably is just bank the three to the end rail there and bring your cue ball straight down to the other end rail, leaving the three on the rail. Well, you can mark up one win for the Cone family. Oh, it looks like she did win. Yeah, Julie uh, defeated Monica Webb seven to zero. Pretty impressive. And Jennifer Allison tried to get her behind the seven there, and Jennifer, she can hit the three. It's going to be a hard shot to really play a effective safety here, but it's about all she has. Maybe banking the three over toward the eight and leaving the cue ball on the other rail. Yeah, I like going the other way with the cue ball towards the eight. And she has that option too there. Yeah, personal preference. I guess, exactly, really. yes. Uh, which side you like to hit the ball to, you know, everybody's got that a little different there. And she went with your shot there, and I like that. I, she almost got behind the eight, but she definitely played a perfect speed on the three. Uh, left Allison a cut here that uh, she's probably going to shoot at this three because she can play safe and shoot at the ball at the same time here. Mm -hmm. Hit the ball perfect there, and uh, now she's she's right back in line here, and uh, an open table. It, it's looking very good for Allison, and she's got her bridge back. Gonna just come right there off the rail, back to the center of the table here. And she has a good angle here. Just play the cue ball over by the side pocket and back off a little and then right back to the center of the table for the rest of the rack. It's looking good. Allison shooting to get to the hill. Looks like Lori John Hassan has defeated uh, Taruko Kukaleli uh, seven to two. Trying to make a strong comeback, Lori John. Haven't seen her in years. She's a fierce competitor. She, she's really playing well. It looks like Allison's going to choose the side pocket option on the seven again. Less cue ball movement is, is always a good option. Keep it simple. Here she can just hit this with a little center, center low, and float right towards perfect position on the eight ball. 
Notice how she doesn't hit the balls very hard. Just nice and smooth. The pockets take them really well. Some players will go two rails around the nine. Some will come straight across. Looks like she's choosing the straight across. She really has good speed on her few ball. Allison Fisher to six. Number eight, Allison Fisher set to break on the hill. Justin Cohn has uh, left us uh, to go congratulate his wife, Julie. Just defeated uh, Monica Webb, seven to zero. Great match, great performance. Julie's really playing well. Justin, a uh, very knowledgeable player, spent a lot of time on the road, earning him the nickname the Road Man. All right, here we go, rack number eight. All right, Allison's got the two ball down. She's got a Good shot on the one ball and the three sitting right there. Brittany Bryant is uh, is playing. Um, um, Melissa Little right now looks like it's four to two. Brittany leading. They seem to be on break for something. I'm not sure what. So several several tables down. All right, we have a correction in from the match with uh, Julie Cohn and Monica Webb. Uh, Monica Webb won the match seven to zero. And apparently, uh, the word that we're getting is. Um, Um, Julie w had ran just about all the balls and uh, would hang an eight or a nine and Monica would, would uh, finish up the racks. So Justin and I, every time we looked over, Julie was, was shooting. So she, uh, they got us. Monica Webb with a, with a great win, seven to zero. Wow, nice shot, nice shot. Allison Fisher, great jump shot. So we'll take a, another look at this. Great shot here. Boom. All right, Allison looking at the, at the six ball now.
All right, we just got word that um, Tanya Weiser's uh, kitty is watching the stream. And uh, she asked if I'd give him a shout out. So, so uh, here, here it goes. Uh, hey, Eddie. Kitty, 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 kitty. Mom says hi. All right. Allison Fisher. Nice shot of the six ball. And and Allison Fisher is set to finish off Jennifer Beretta right now. All right, that's it. Great match, and uh, Allison Fisher, powerhouse. The Doom, Duchess of Doom. All right, um, that is it for our uh, full production coverage of matches to, uh, tonight. I believe they're going to have one more match going. We're going to leave the cameras rolling. We'll just have the front view on. Or actually, we'll leave it on the side so you can see the next table as well. Uh, thanks for being here with us. I'm your host, Ray Hansen with Pool Action TV. We'll be back in the morning. I'm going to find out what time we're going to start and let you know that before we leave the building. So uh, on behalf of myself, the Pool Action TV, and uh, we thank you for being here, and have a great evening. Again, we're going to keep the cameras rolling. Stay with us.